All right, it's time to get back to some basics. And this goes out to anyone that's just getting into synthesis. I'm gonna show you guys five basic techniques of synthesis that every producer should know. If you guys master these five basic techniques, then you're on your way to creating some complex sounds. By the way, my name is Stranger, and if you want to improve your music production and sound design, especially with drum and bass and dance music, then this channel is for you. So I'm going to be showing you these techniques with Serum. However, they can't be applied to most synthesizers, whether software or hardware. Just note that wavetable modulation as well as FM synthesis may be specific to certain synths. Make sure you like this video and share it if you want to see me make more videos like these. Also, follow me on TikTok and Instagram where I'm providing additional content. And if you're a beginner to Ableton, then make sure you check out my Skillshare series. I have a four-part series called Ableton Essential Exercises where I show you the basics of drum programming as well as writing bass lines. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, before we begin, it's important to distinguish between an envelope and an LFO. So an envelope is a shaping tool that plays only once, where an LFO plays repeatedly. Envelopes usually have four, sometimes five basic controls. There's the attack, which is how long it takes to reach to the top. There is sometimes the hold level, which is how long it stays at that top level. Decay is how long it takes to reach the sustain level. And then release is how long it takes for the sustain to reach silence when you let go of the key. So an LFO or low frequency oscillator is simply a shape that plays repeatedly. The benefit of modern LFOs is that you can add multiple points and create some really interesting articulation as well. You can turn on envelope mode, which makes it cycle only once. So the first basic modulation technique you should know is volume or amplitude modulation. So by default, the first envelope is usually dedicated as the amplitude envelope so let's play with the envelope a bit and create a shape. So I'm going to make the volume increase like this. Notice how it fades in. Now we can make it hold at the top before it comes back down. And then you can play with these shapes to control how fast it goes up. So learn how to shape the volume of your sound using the envelope. Notice what happens as I increase the release. it fades out when I let go of the key. Let's reset the envelope settings and now let's modulate the volume with the LFO. Now notice now it creates a wobble sound by fluctuating the volume up and down based on the shape of your LFO. All right, the second type of modulation you should know about is pitch modulation. Now we can use this to create some really interesting sounds. So first let's apply envelope two to the global master tune, which would be the pitch and increase the amount. So notice now it's the pitch is high and then it goes to the bottom and we've set it to 24. So at the top is two octaves up. Some quick tips about pitch envelope modulation. Quicker decays create a kick sound, while longer decays create a drop bass sound. Also, this technique can be used to create laser sounds if you play the sound higher up. Using a square wave or sawtooth is ideal for this type of sound. Adding a bit of attack creates kind of that whale bass sound. So get comfortable using an envelope to modulate the pitch. All right, let's switch this instead of the envelope. Let's use LFO one. Now look what it does. So this creates some really cool wobble type of sound. Now you may want to adjust the pitch amount. You get some interesting effects when you play with the rate. So fun stuff. The next basic modulation technique is filter modulation. 
Typically for filter modulation, you want to use waveforms that have a full range of frequencies such as a square wave, sawtooth, or other complex wavetables. So let's drag envelope 2 to the cutoff filter. So this controls the movement of the cutoff frequency. And you can create some interesting sounds by adjusting the attack and decay. No attack creates that techno bass sound. Whereas if you increase the attack, you get that warp bass sound. That's essentially how wub basses are made. It's all about adjusting the filter amount. Different filter types will change how it sounds. Also, when you're playing the sound at higher ranges, you can create really cool stab sounds by using the envelope to modulate the filter with no attack but a short decay. You can increase the attack for that kind of wub sound. Now the common filter modulation is using the LFO. Again, it's all about adjusting the cutoff frequency and then the modulation amount. And then selecting the correct filter. So experiment with the other filter types. Typically, if you're doing bass sounds, then low passes make more sense because you retain the lower frequencies. Whereas high pass, you get rid of the low frequencies. So it's not really useful for bass unless you're using multi layered filtering. But you can do some cool stuff with that. The next technique is modulating the wavetable position. So this is specific to wavetable synths. So any synths that allow you to have these multi-layered waveforms with multiple frames. Essentially, you're using the envelope or LFO to change the position. So let's add the envelope to wavetable position. So this allows for some pretty interesting bass sounds when you select the correct wavetable and you play it at the right pitch. You can experiment with other wavetables. It's simply moving from the start of the wavetable and then up the table, creating that movement and you can adjust the envelope settings. So slower attack will move through it more slowly and leaving the sustain at the top will end at the last frame. All right, let's try modulating this with an LFO. Again, it's about choosing the correct starting position and a modulation amount. So this is another neat way to create wobble or wub bases. Hey, if you want to support me, you can grab a number of my products. I have a gnarly serum preset pack with over 150 base melting base presets. As well, I have some Ableton project files to jumpstart your next idea. But if you're not ready yet, you can pick up my free serum preset pack and my free sample pack. For more information, check the links down below. So the final technique I'm going to show you today is called frequency modulation, otherwise known as FM synthesis. Now with FM synthesis, we use a normal rate oscillator as opposed to a low frequency oscillator. So it's modulating the frequency of uh, your carrier or oscillator A at a very high rate, which creates harmonics. Now this is a very deep topic and there's so much we can talk about with FM synthesis. So if you wanna learn the basics of FM synthesis, I have a video for that and you can check it out in the links below. But typically I use a sine wave for oscillator B and set to zero volume. 
and we select FM from B. So B is called the modulator. A is called the carrier. So now oscillator B is modulating the frequency of oscillator A as we increase the modulation amount. And the timbre of the sound changes as we increase the pitch of oscillator B, the modulator. Now I encourage you guys to experiment with other waveforms in the carrier as well as the modulator. You'll get some interesting results. Now you can get some pretty interesting results when you start modulating the FM amount with an envelope or LFO. So notice the intensity of the FM increases with my envelope. Let's try it with an LFO. So now you start to get that chop house sound. Big up serum. All right, and now we're gonna get into the intermediate level where we modulate the modulator's parameters. This is where things start to get really interesting. So for example, we can modulate the rate using an envelope. So that makes the LFO rate start fast and slow down. So I have a sine wave here with the LFO modulating the pitch. Now watch what happens when we modulate the rate of the LFO with an envelope. So pull that over. So the envelope makes the rate start fast and then slow down as the decay gets to zero. We can also increase the attack. You almost get a helicopter effect with that. All right, here's another really interesting technique. So I just adjusted my LFO to a faster rate. Again, it's modulating the pitch. Now, what if we modulate the modulation amount using the envelope? So to do this in Serum, there's an aux source. So to select this and select envelope two. So now the envelope will control how much pitch modulation is happening based on the shape. Now listen to this. So at the bottom, the pitch modulation is pretty much at zero, but as we increase, the intensity of the pitch modulation increases. So this is a cool technique to make crazy bass sounds as well as effects sounds. Another advanced form of modulation is effects modulation. Now this is only available in certain synthesizers. So for example, you can modulate the distortions drive with an LFO. All right, now that we've learned the five basic techniques of synthesis, we can now combine it to create some advanced techniques. So I have a square wave here. So let's do some pitch modulation. So let's use envelope two to modulate the pitch. And now we're gonna create an LFO modulation with the filter. So we have a wobble. And maybe we want to modulate the speed of the LFO. So we're gonna be using uh, envelope three to do this. And finally, we might want to do a slower pitch modulation with envelope three. So we have a fast one with envelope two, and then we can also do a slower modulation with the tune. Maybe this one is just two semitones, so you get that drop bass sound. Or let's try seven. And let's hear this bass sound in action over a beat. By the way, all the presets in today's video can be downloaded in the link below. All right, let's try another one. This time we're gonna use two sine waves and we're gonna be using oscillator B as an FM modulator. So bring the volume down, octave two, semitone seven, 
FM up from B. So let's modulate the FM amount with LFO 1. Let's add a filter with envelope 2, bring the cutoff down. So now the filter is filtering out the wobble. And then finally, let's use envelope 3 to modulate the global master tune. Make this just two semitones, and then we'll have a slow attack. All right, let's see the sound in action. All right, this is how you make the wobbles. All right, let's do one more. This time we're going to do some wavetable modulation with the crush wub waveform. So let's uh, add envelope 2 to wavetable position. All right, now let's do some filter modulation with LFO 1. Now we want the wobble to gradually come in as opposed to wobbling right away. So we can set the LFO auxiliary source to envelope 2 so the amount fades in. Sweet. Let's add some distortion. And we can modulate the distortion amount with envelope 2 as well. Okay, finally, let's go back to the matrix and modulate the global tune with envelope 2. And I want it to actually pitch down, so I'm going to use a negative value, so negative 2. Okay, we can add a bit of a sub bass with the sound. All right, let's check this over the beat. Oh yeah, so just combining some basic synthesis techniques, you can create some complex sounds. All right, so those were the five basic techniques of synthesis. Get to know these techniques and master them and you'll be on your way to creating some complex sounds. The key is learning how to shape your envelope or LFO, learning how to adjust the modulation amount, and then combining different modulations to create some crazy sounds. All right, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video.